The movie camera, film camera or cine camera is a type of photographic camera which takes a rapid sequence of photographs on an image sensor or on a film. In contrast to a still camera, which captures a single snapshot at a time, the movie camera takes a series of images. Each image constitutes a frame. This is accomplished through an intermittent mechanism. The frames are later played back in a movie projector at a specific speed, called the frame rate. While viewing at a particular frame rate, a person's eyes and brain merge the separate pictures together to create the illusion of motion. Since 2010s, film-based movie cameras have been largely replaced by digital movie cameras. History equals Early experimentation equals the very first patented film camera was designed in England by Frenchman Louis Le Prince in 1888. He built and patented an earlier 16 lens camera in 1887 at his workshop in Leeds. The first eight lenses would be triggered in rapid succession by an electromagnetic shutter on the sensitive film. The film would then be moved forward allowing the other eight lenses to operate on the film. After much trial and error, he was finally able to develop a single-lens camera in 1888, which he used to shoot the first sequences of moving film in the world, including the Round Hay Garden scene and Leeds Bridge. According to Adolf Le Prince, who assisted his father at Leeds, Round Hay Garden was shot at 12 frames and Leeds Bridge at 20 frames. His camera still exists with the National Media Museum in Bradford. He shot the film on celluloid with one a three-quarters inch width. Another early pioneer was the British inventor William Freeze Green. He began to experiment with the use of oiled paper as a medium for displaying motion pictures in 1885 and by 1887 he was experimenting with the use of celluloid. In 1889, Freeze Green took out a patent for a Corona photographic camera. This was capable of taking up to 10 photographs per second using perforated celluloid film. A report on the camera was published in the British Photographic News on February 28, 1890. He gave a public demonstration in 1890 of his device, but the low frame rate combined with the device's apparent unreliability made an unfavorable impression. William Kennedy Laurie Dixon, a Scottish inventor and employee of Thomas Edison, designed the kinetographic camera in 1891. The camera was powered by an electric motor and was capable of shooting with the new sprocketed film. To govern the intermittent movement of the film in the camera, allowing the strip to stop long enough so each frame could be fully exposed and then advancing it quickly to the next frame, the sprocket wheel that engaged the strip was driven by an escapement disc mechanisme Euro the first practical system for the high-speed stop-and-go film movement that would be the foundation for the next century of cinematography. The Lumia Redometer camera was created by Charles Moisson, the chief mechanic at the Lumia Reworks in Lyon in 1894. The camera used paper film of 35 mm width, but in 1895 the Lumia Reed brothers shifted to celluloid film, which they bought from New York a Euro unregistered trademark as Celluloid Manufacturing Company. This they covered with their own etiquette blur emulsion, had it cut into strips and perforated. In 1894 the Polish inventor Kazimierz Yitz Prakubt Zyerski constructed a projector and camera in one, an invention he called the pleograph. Equals mass market equals. Due to the work of Le Prince, Fries Green, Edison and the Lumia Re brothers, the movie camera had become a practical reality by the mid-1890s. The first firms were soon established for the manufacture of movie camera, including Bert Akers, Eugene Augustin Laust, Dixon, Pathic Copyright Vares, Prestwich, Newman and Guardia, De Beds, Gormant Dow Copyright Ma Copyright Nee, Schneider, Skimpf, Akeli, Debris, Bell and Howell, Leonard Mitchell, Ertel, Erneman, Eclair, Stacco, Universal, Institute, War, Latax, and many others. The aeroscope was built and patented in England in the period 1909-1911 by Polish inventor Kazimierz Yitz Prakubt Zyerski. Aeroscope was the first successful handheld operated film camera. The cameraman did not have to turn the crank to advance the film, as in all cameras of that time, so he could operate the camera with both hands, holding the camera and controlling the focus. This made it possible to film with the aeroscope in difficult circumstances including from the air and for military purposes. 
The first all-metal scene camera was the Bell and Howell standard of 1911-12. One of the most complicated models was the Mitchell Technicolor Beam Splitting 3-Strip Camera of 1932. With it, three color separation originals are obtained behind a purple, a green, and a red light filter, the latter being part of one of the three different raw materials in use. In 1923 Eastman Kodak introduced a 16mm film stock, principally as a lower cost alternative to 35mm and several camera makers launched models to take advantage of the new market of amateur movie makers. Thought initially to be of inferior quality to 35mm, 16mm cameras continued to be manufactured till 2000s by the likes of Bolex, Bayri and Ayrton. The most popular 35mm cameras in use were Airy, Moviacom, and Panavision models. For very high-speed filming, Photosonics were used. Equals digital movie cameras equals. Digital movie cameras for digital cinematography are digital video cameras that capture digitally rather than the historically used movie camera, which shoots on film stock. Different digital movie cameras output a variety of different acquisition formats. Cameras designed for domestic use have also been used for some low-budget independent productions. Since 2010s, digital movie camera has become dominant type of camera in motion picture industry. Technical details. Most of the optical and mechanical elements of a movie camera are also present in the movie projector. The requirements for film tensioning, take-up, intermittent motion, loops, and rack positioning are almost identical. The camera will not have an illumination source and will maintain its film stock in a light-tight enclosure. A camera will also have exposure control via an iris aperture located on the lens. The right-hand side of the camera is often referred to by camera assistants as the dumb side, because it usually lacks indicators or readouts and access to the film threading, as well as lens markings on many lens models. Later equipment often had done much to minimize these shortcomings, although access to the film movement block by both sides is precluded by basic motor and electronic design necessities. Advent of digital cameras and reduced the above mechanism to a minimum removing much of the shortcomings. The standardized frame rate for commercial sound film is 24 frames per second. The standard commercial width is 35 mm, while many other film formats exist. The standard aspect ratios are 1.66, 1.85, and 2.39. NTSC video plays at 29.97 frames. PAL plays at 25 frames. These two television and video systems also have different resolutions and color encodings. Many of the technical difficulties involving film and video concern translation between the different formats. Video aspect ratios are 43 for full screen and 69 for widescreen. Equals multiple cameras equals. Multiple cameras may be placed side by side to record a single angle of a scene and repeat it throughout the runtime. The film is then later projected simultaneously either on a single three image screen or upon multiple screens forming a complete circle, with gaps between screens through which the projectors illuminate and opposite screen convex and concave mirrors are used in cameras as well as mirrors. Equals sound synchronization equals. One of the problems in film is synchronizing a sound recording with a film. Most film cameras do not record sound internally. Instead, the sound is captured separately by a precision audio device. The exceptions to this are the single system use film cameras, which had either an optical a euro or lateral euro magnetic recording head inside the camera. For optical recording, the film only had a single perforation and the area where the other set of perforations would have been was exposed to a controlled bright light that would burn a waveform image that would later regulate the passage of light and play back the sound. For magnetic recording, that same area of the single perf 16mm film that was pre-striped with a magnetic stripe. A smaller balance stripe existed between the perforations and the edge to compensate the thickness of the recording stripe to keep the film wound evenly. Double system cameras are generally categorized as either sync or non sync. Sync cameras use crystal controlled motors that ensure that film is advanced through the camera at a precise speed. In addition, 
they're designed to be quiet enough to not hamper sound recording of the scene being shot. Non-sync or MOS cameras do not offer these features. Any attempt to match location sound to these cameras' footage will eventually result in sync drift, and the noise they emit typically renders location sound recording useless. To synchronize double system footage, the clapperboard which typically starts at take is used as a reference point for the editor to match the picture to the sound. It also permits scene and take numbers and other essential information to be seen on the film itself. Ayrton cameras have a system called Ayrton Code that can jam sync with a time code based audio recorder and prints a digital time code directly on the edge of the film itself. However, the most commonly used system at the moment is unique identifier numbers exposed on the edge of the film by the film stock manufacturer. These are then logged and recorded along with audio time code during editing. In the case of no better alternative, a hand clap can work if done clearly and properly, but often a quick tap on the microphone is preferred. One of the most common uses of non-sync cameras are the spring wound cameras used in hazardous special effects, known as crash cams. Scenes shot with these have to be kept short, or resynchronized manually with the sound. MOS cameras are also often used for second unit work or anything involving slow or fast motion filming. With advent of digital cameras, synchronization became a redundant term, as both visual and audio is simultaneously captured electronically. Home movie cameras Movie cameras were available before World War II often using the 9.5mm film format. The use of movie cameras had an upsurge in popularity in the immediate post-war period giving rise to the creation of home movies. Compared to the pre-war models, these cameras were small, light, fairly sophisticated and affordable. An extremely compact 35mm movie camera Kinemo was designed by Emanuel Goldberg for amateur and semi-professional movies in 1921. A spring motor attachment was added in 1923 to allow flexible handheld filming. The Kinemo was used by Juris Ivans and other avant-garde and documentary filmmakers in the late 1920s and early 1930s. While a basic model might have a single fixed aperture focus lens, a better version might have three or four lenses of differing apertures and focal lengths on a rotating turret. A good quality camera might come with a variety of interchangeable, focusable lenses or possibly a single zoom lens. The viewfinder was normally a parallel sight with an oar on top of the camera body. In the 1950s and for much of the 1960s these cameras were powered by clockwork motors, again with variations of quality. A simple mechanism might only power the camera for some 30 seconds, while a geared drive camera might work for as long as 75 a euro 90 seconds. The common film used for these cameras was termed Standard 8, which was a strip of 16mm wide film which was only exposed down one half during shooting. The film had twice the number of perforations as film for 16mm cameras and so the frames were half as high and half as wide as 16mm frames. The film was removed and placed back in the camera to expose the frames on the other side once the first half had been exposed. Once the film was developed it was sliced down the middle and the ends attached, giving 50 foot of standard 8 film from a spool of 25 foot of 16 mm film. 16 mm cameras, mechanically similar to the smaller format models, were also used in home movie making but were more usually the tools of semi-professional film and news filmmakers. In the 1960s a new film format, Super 8, coincided with the advent of battery-operated electric movie cameras. The new film, with a larger frame print on the same width of film stock, came in a cassette which simplified changeover and developing. Another advantage of the new system is that they had the capacity to record sound, albeit of indifferent quality. Camera bodies, and sometimes lenses, were increasingly made in plastic rather than the metals of the earlier types. As the costs of mass production came down, so did the price and these cameras became very popular. This type of format and camera was more quickly superseded for amateurs by the advent of digital video cameras in 2000s. Since 2010s, amateurs increasingly started preferring smartphone cameras. See also, animation camera, camcorder. Camera Stabilizer, Digital Movie Camera, Iremo and Filmo, History of Cinema, List of Film Formats.
Converse, Multiplane Camera, Debris Parvo, Prestwich Camera. External links References <laughs>